here with Joey Herta Corvette Specialist at Tim Lally Chevrolet. And Joey, Mike's been surfing the internet, going through his GM connections, and we have another collection here that you can only find at Tim Lally Chevrolet. Tell our Corvette enthusiasts what we got. So we picked up three, not one, two, three driver series. So the C7 R race team, um, each driver created a car. So we have Garcia's car, Magnuson's car. In the back, but we can find that out because it's built inside the, the dash. Um, guys, we have two LT here. This one is the highest mile of the three. Um, it's 72.69 for the miles. Um, this car is probably 7,000 miles. That's all. Yeah. Wow. It's, I believe on MSO, so we'll confirm that later. But um, so it's likely never been titled right. either. At Tim Lally, we have the opportunity to go to like a GM auction or um, speak to GM directly. And so um, this car probably is around $77,000, $78,000 brand new. It's a 2LT. It's got the Heritage package. Um, what's unique on it, if you can come over here, Jeff, the wheels. Very racing inspired. So the pinstripe around it, the Punisher or the Jake logo. The Heritage package gives you the Grand Sport flare here. Check out the decal here. That's the Jake Racing logo. Cool. Um, so now one cool thing I think Mr. Lally, because he's a, a racing purist, or you know, that's enthusiast, he, he has three manuals here, so um, that's unique. The new C8 doesn't have that. Here we go guys, check this out. Let's see how accurate my uh, talk is. Okay, so it's 76 445 brand spanking new, 2LT package, and the PDA C7R driver series. So, um, really a, a cool car. And this says Garcia. This is number 13. It's a numbered car, so that's unique. Come on over here. Same trim, I'm just waiting for the odometer to pop up. Okay, 1,103 miles on this one. So it's wow. just on the verge of um, its first oil change. Uh, like I said, this is Matt Newson. This is car 18. Car number 18. Now, the last one we had at Magnuson went to what? Texas, I think. No, no. Uh, a local Clevelander got it. And it was an automatic. Oh, that's right. And, uh, they were, weren't were sure if they liked the strike because they, you got to think, five months ago, it was almost impossible to get a Corvette. And it's still like that. So the market is um, really hard to find a car like that. But um, they chose this car. When they weren't in love with the crystal red Grand Sport stripe on it, they were going to take it off. He called me a week later and said, Joey, I love the stripe. I love everything on this car. I get so many compliments. So um, he's completely satisfied. But another driver series. Six thousand three seventy nine. This is Milner. Milner. Nineteen. Car number nineteen. So the drivers then uh, picked the trim, picked the look, and made it unique to, to their taste and uh, for their fans, correct? Definitely. They spec'd out everything on this car, the color, the striping package. That's why everything's a little different. You know, the first one had a Stinger stripe with the Jake logo. These are Grand Sports stripes. Um, you know, race car drivers like busyness. They like the lines. So you can see all of the sport part of it. I'm not saying they're not classy, but they're they're definitely a sporty look. You know, the, the spoiler on a Grand Sport, this is normal, okay? But like I said, the striping, the wheel, you really don't see this pinstripe on a car like that. Um, you'd see a black rim, but you wouldn't see that pinstripe. 
definitely cool. Yeah, Elk Heart Lake blue, Arctic white, and um, C7R yellow. Nice. Right. So, folks, uh, the watch for these to appear. The inventory on timlolly.com. Thank you, Joey Hurtock, Corvette Specialist, Call for giving us a first look. Absolutely. And uh, his uh, direct dial number is going to be in the in the description. Thank, Thank you, you so much, and uh, keep watching Tim Lolly Chevrolet for more performance enthusiast specials.